Hello. What's up, Dense Fuck? What are you doing? Talking about the war, mate, to be honest. Wait, where are you guys? I'm at the block. Uh, We're on a roof having a, like, a man to me and me ask yeah. if you can come up. No, 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 you're good. I wasn't asking the block. Hey, yeah. I, just, I just seen your fucking revolt. You guys get a revolter, bro? Um, I don't even know, bro. I was just woke up and it's there. Yeah, I, just, I thought fucking scenes were on the block, bro. So I was like, what the fuck? Nah, nah, nah. Nah. We. Yeah. I don't know what to do at this point, to be honest, mate. What do you mean? That better shoot us. Yeah. Yeah, well then, give up. They, they ain't making it that easy. What do they want? Three mil. Wait, they want three million from you guys? How long has the war been going on? Uh, like, probably a week, maybe. <clears throat> uh, and on the energy of we will just keep repeatedly smoking you until we give you the three mil. You're paying to end the war. Uh, After they've taken a bench and taken God knows how much okay, materials. Who, who started shooting after the bench? Um... I think we kidnapped one of them and then they were on full smoke. Okay, no offense, bro, but like, isn't three three mil like nothing to you guys? Uh, to T, it's pretty much nothing. Yeah, but that motherfucker but doesn't come around, so. He was around last night. Ooh, what did he say? He was the one who had the discussion with, um, with them and. Uh, like, he, he was, like, the main speaker with all of it. Mm. What are your thoughts? Like, personally, what do you want to do? Um... I don't know, bro. Like... At the end of the day, truth be told is, like... Eagles aside, like, man, them as a group took a hit from this, right? Reputation-wise, yeah. plus, like, business-wise. Mm. So, I mean, at this point, you're darn bad. You don't have a bench to fund yourselves. And it's not even about having the money. It's more about having the weight on other people to give you shit, right? So, yeah. at this point, it's like, do you continue to fight when you're getting slumped? Or do you just give up? Give them the three million, even though they already took a bench. But, I mean, listen, bro. If I'm in their shoes and I'm smoking you guys, even if I stole the bench, if you guys technically started, bro, I'm asking for money, too. Yeah, it makes sense why they're asking for money. Yeah, but, but we—it's sort of like we're on a deep. Like we've been the aggressor the whole war. We've been pushing <laughs> their fights, and I think that's why we have been struggling as much as we have. Um, so we're sort of switching up to a defense thing now, and not really pushing them and just holding it down. Okay, but what does that? Plan you. What does a defense thing do for you guys? Right, it's just Wait, make you we guys can focus on <sighs> a war that you're already losing. Nah, we're able to fight in ends that we're comfortable with. Like, bro, I don't think you realize how shambles we are on the south side. No, I, I get that. But at the same point, I'm not talking about, like, where you're comfortable, where you're not. It just means you're continuing the war, right? Mm. Like, at what point? I think the question you need to ask yourself is, like, what point would you be happy to end it, right? Do you want to get a couple of fucking, you know, do you want to smoke them a couple of times and then be like, yeah, we'll end it fairly or... You gotta smoke them a couple times and be like, yeah, we'll pay your fucking three mil. You know what I mean? That, I think that's the bigger question. I don't think we're, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure we're set on that we're not paying them full stop, you know? Yeah. I mean, and it, at makes the sense. Moment it, it makes sense from your side not to want to pay them, but it also makes sense from their side to want money, right? Yeah, it does make, yeah, it's one of those. You, you're kind of stuck in an awkward spot of like. We're hoping they push us and we actually are able to put in work to the point where we can say, we're not the aggressor anymore. We don't want this war. We're not giving you anything. Walk away, you know? Okay, but... You, you've walked away like... with the bench. I don't know. Maybe That's they... been very helpful. We would Maybe have to, we would have to put in work. Is that not like rolling on your back and saying like, oh, no, please don't. What do you mean? Well, we're not I feel like that's them. very submissive, right? I feel like I was paying them submissive. submissive. But it's... It's not. I feel like you having that attitude is like an ego. 
because at the end of the day they stole your shit you guys tried to get it back they smoked your shit and you have to pay the repercussions right so what do you think we should do i'd pay the three million they get it over and done with and then i'd steal that bitch back mm. bro they stole it from you guys it wouldn't be hard to steal it back like sure like you know it's gonna be tedious and it's gonna be a pain in the ass but bro if they can steal it from you you can definitely get it back Thing and i would is, make I sure don't... everybody in the city if you guys are as rich as everybody says you guys are i would make sure everybody in the city didn't take a single thing from the scenes i put them out of business completely to where the bench is pretty much rendered useless yeah because if you can't do it in a war, like you got to do it other ways, right? Through, uh, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, though, bro. At this point, like, I feel like gangs don't move like that no more. <laughs> Everyone's very much for themselves in the way of, like, bro. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you're rich, gangs you guys are going to incentivize them. Yeah, you would have to pay people to yeah. not buy stuff. But what stops gangs from taking money I mean, and being like, it's the man who it's cares, really you know? Gangs. The main person that you need to stop from doing shit is Pigeon. If you can cut like whole like middlemen off from working with that bench, it'll hurt them massively, right? Because as much as everybody likes a bench, after like the first like week of having a bench, it gets tedious and it gets boring as fuck. Yeah, it's like and having a like, lab, bro. It, yeah. it's, it seems exciting until you have one and you realize yeah. you have to go there and stand there for however long. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's so the best thing to do is to reach out to middlemen and get them to push for you so if you can stop middlemen from getting connected with them then uh yeah i think the only reputable one that pretty much already owns all the clients is probably pigeon yeah i think i i don't i don't think pigeon will work with them We're i think you'd be very surprised you think? I think Pigeon is very uh, business oriented and I don't think he gives a fuck who he works with as long as he can get what he needs to push. Yeah. No, I hear that. In my opinion. Yeah. I don't think he's disloyal or like dishonest. I think he's just very... Uh, he is very uh, business minded and business first over everything. Yeah, that's fair. So I think he would continually do business with them because they're gonna they're gonna like fall to their knees and offer him like stupid rates and stupid prices right so yeah because they know how much they can push free pigeon yeah exactly mm. my thing would be to attack the middleman get them on your side don't work with them pay them the three million get rid of the war and then focus on getting the bench back because i mean that's ideally what you went to war for right is to get it back like, there's yeah. no doubt in my mind that you guys thought we'll smoke them into the ground until they give us the key back. I feel like we went into the war more of a, we know we're not going to get back, but you want to make a point. Because we knew we weren't getting that back. Like, bro, I, I don't think you realize these men are like an opposite time zone to all of us. Yo, bro, like, they're going to be using the bench Sorry, when none before. of us are awake. Yeah. Like, it's going to be like a 7 a.m. thing when... None of us have seen the well, light of get day someone, that time. Get someone at 7 a.m. to get an, get another group to go and hold it down. Yeah. But you what group should even do that? Really, you want to know a really good group, and I don't know what your guys' standing is for this, is BBMC. Mm. Kaiba is the most determined motherfucker I've ever met in my life. And if they... And that, that, they're they're the right the time bench, zone for it. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a shout, you know. Like, I'm telling you right now, Kaiba is... If I lost something and I wanted to get a bag, Kaiba would be the person I'd go to. Because I don't have the I don't have the attention span to sit there. Hell no. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like, none of us... Like, the whole of the man them aren't them sort of people that will just sit there for hours. Like, none of us are doing that. Mm-hmm. So I think There's you, one of those. What can we do? You gotta reach out to other people and and get your eggs in all in one basket and decide what to do at that point but fighting a war changing up strats going defensive is just you're just prolonging the inevitable in my opinion i mean if you're saying you're getting smoked by them then you know 
defense, offense. It, it sounds like it doesn't really going to change much. To be fair, they pushed us yesterday for the first time and we smoked them within two minutes, bro, and no, none of us even got shot. Yeah, I mean, you can keep trying. I mean, listen, yeah. I have a massive ego, so I always keep trying, but, you know. I think we're going to see how the next day or two go, but uh, I'll definitely speak to the boys about BBMC. That's a shout. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let me know if you need right. anything, right? Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. All right, later. Thank you, mate. Bye-bye.